In this video, I am going to show you how to host an online app for just $1 using OVH Cloud. Specifically, we will be creating a WhatsApp bot, which you can be used to automate your messaging and improve your productivity. So if you are interested in creating your own bot and learning more about OVH Cloud hosting services, stick up to the end to avoid missing critical steps. As you can see I'm on OVH Cloud's site. I'll be including all the links you need in the description box below. First things first, you'll need to register for an account with OVH, if you haven't already done so. Remember, the $1 offer can end at any time, so I highly recommend you grab it quickly to take advantage of it. Creating an account with OVH is a straightforward process just follow the prompts and complete the necessary details. Once you've registered, you'll receive a verification email to the address you provided during the registration process. To make sure everything runs smoothly, be sure to use your original credit card with the $1 balance. Verification usually takes less than 30 minutes, but can take up to 24 hours. Once you've been verified, you'll receive login details which you'll use to access any VPS and host your app. The next step is to download an application to remotely connect to our bot. In my case, I'm currently using a Windows machine, so I'll be using the PIDI software. If you're using a mobile phone, you should download the Juice SSH client application from the Play Store. If you haven't watched my previous video on how to connect using the SSH mobile app, I'll also include the link in the comments section below. However, the connection process is the same, and you can follow along on your mobile phone using the SSH app. Once you've downloaded and installed the necessary application, you can launch the PIDI software and begin the setup process. After paying the $0.97, you will be provided with login credentials by the OVH team via mail. One of the credentials is the address which you should enter on this pop-up window. Fill in the address and then click on the load button to open the software. Once the PIDI software is open, you will be directed to an interface that looks similar to the one shown. On this interface, enter the VPS name you did choose during the OVH registration process to establish connection. For instance, if you chose to use Ubuntu, type in Ubuntu then press enter and input the password that was provided to you by the OVH team via mail still. Please note that while typing your password, the characters will not be visible on the screen due to security measures. Once you have entered the correct password, input this command line vt in HTTPs, www.lovanter.ml install and chmudx install. Install. I have included it in the description box. Copy paste it and click enter to execute the command. Once the command has been executed, next line you will be asked if you have session ID. If you already have a session ID, type Y for yes. Otherwise, type N for no. In this case I will type Y for yes. Ader typing Y, click enter. The next line will ask you to enter the session ID. Now to get session ID, open your WhatsApp and scan the QR code. The link to the QR code is in the description box. Please note that you will need two devices to complete this process one to scan the QR code and the other to be used for the session ID.
you can see the session ID has been generated. The ones rotating with 19 in my case. Yours of course will be a different one. Once you have scanned the QR code and generated a session ID, go back to the PIDI software, enter the session ID, and press enter. After pressing enter, another line will be generated asking you to provide the name you wish to call the bot. I'll call it my name, Carlos. You can call yours any name of your thought. Now click on enter. Bot creation process will start. It can take several seconds to minutes depending on the speed of machine you are using. So wait until the process is finished. After it's done, go to your WhatsApp and test the features of the bot. As you can see it is working smooth and fast just like premium ones. In case you do not know how to use the bot, I made a video on top features of the bot. In case you have not watched it, check the link in the description box section below to help you learn how to use WhatsApp bot. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative and valuable. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and commenting below. Your feedback is essential since it helps improve the quality of my content. For more insightful videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates when I post new videos. Additionally, feel free to share this video with anyone who you believe will benefit from the information. I appreciate your time and support.
I will see you in the next one.